I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the adjuvant treatment of breast cancer and specifically for the type of breast cancer that is estrogen receptor positive. So in patients that have estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, there has been uh, a great deal of research over the last 40 years that has demonstrated that the use of drugs that alter hormones in some way, uh, either by reducing estrogen or blocking the ability of estrogen to bind to the estrogen receptor, leads to substantial reductions in the risk of recurrence, as well as uh, in terms of prolonging survival. We think that for women who have estrogen positive breast cancer, really the most important treatment that we can give is likely uh, hormonal therapy. That is, therapies that block estrogen. So there are two major classes of, of therapies here. One of them is the drug tamoxifen. Tamoxifen has been around for uh, nearly 40 years. It is a drug that has been uh, found to bind to the estrogen receptor and in so doing prevent uh, estrogen from uh, causing tumor cells to grow. It is called a selective estrogen receptor modulator. However, tamoxifen can have uh, uh, pro-estrogenic effects at the level of the uterus. This may mean that for some women, tamoxifen can cause a slight thickening of the lining of the uterus, even leading to uh, uterine bleeding. A feared complication of tamoxifen is uterine cancer, which occurs rarely at, uh, at a rate of one to two to three patients per 1,000 treated with uh, a tamoxifen. Overall, tamoxifen has been shown to reduce the risk of breast cancer and specifically to prolong overall survival. So tamoxifen, uh, uh, if you will, is excellent at this gold standard, that is in terms of uh, not just reducing recurrence, but leading to uh, prolonged life. The side effects of tamoxifen, I've mentioned the risk of endometrial cancer, which is very low. There's also a small risk of developing uh, a blood clot. The women that are at greatest risk for blood clots are those that have a personal history of blood clots, those women who are sedentary or obese, and those women with a strong family history of blood clots. The other relatively new, uh, newer class of drugs is called the aromatase inhibitors. And aromatase inhibitors work different than tamoxifen in that they lower estrogen. Aromatase inhibitors are only indicated for women who are postmenopausal. And these drugs, as I mentioned, act by preventing the body's normal steroids uh, from being converted into estrogen. Aromatase inhibitors have been compared head to head with tamoxifen and have been shown to be slightly better in terms of reducing the risk of recurrence, but aromatase inhibitors lead to equivalent long-term survival. In terms of side effects, aromatase inhibitors are different than tamoxifen. The main side effect with aromatase inhibitors is uh, some uh, uh, joint aching uh, or uh, muscle aching, and this is seen anywhere from 30 to 40 percent of patients. Uh, a side effect that is associated with lowering estrogen is um, uh, bone loss. And so, for example, one of the side effects with aromatase inhibitors is a higher risk of fractures. And specifically, we're talking here about a risk of fractures of, of anywhere between 7 to 9 percent if a woman takes the drug, uh, aromatase inhibitors versus tamoxifen in that 4 to 6 percent range. However, it should be noted that there are good drugs that are available to prevent these fractures, and these are the bisphosphonates, which have also been shown to have some anti-cancer activity. Another side effect of the aromatase inhibitors is some effects at the level of uh, the vagina, so there can be some uh, 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 vaginal dryness and or uh, dyspareunia. Overall, we think that both of these classes of drugs are very effective for the treatment of estrogen-positive breast cancer. And uh, we try to individualize uh, our therapies for patients. For example, there are some women that ha start out with severe bone loss where we might think that tamoxifen is a better drug. Whereas, for example, there are some women that might have a higher risk of developing a blood clot and we may be more uh, prone to use an aromatase inhibitor. It should be noted that for the treatment of premenopausal breast cancer, there's only one uh, FDA approved drug, tamoxifen. For the treatment of postmenopausal breast cancer, there, of course, are two classes of drugs available, tamoxifen and aromatase inhibitors. For more information, uh, feel free to click on the link below. Otherwise, you can go to the Mayo Clinic book, which provides information with regard to uh, aromatase inhibitors and tamoxifen, their benefits and side effects for the treatment of estrogen-positive breast cancer.